Hey there guys and welcome to the next time lapse here on the channel. This is going to be a tribute to Neil Armstrong and the Apollo 11 mission for which is probably his greatest achievement, being the first man to walk on the surface of the moon. So that's what the time lapse is going to be about. It's going to be a tribute to him. And uh, it's going to be have a few cool features on it. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is make a, uh, a, a picture, kind of a silhouette picture that was taken on the moon. You can see Earth in the background there. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the uh, the Earth's, uh, I'm sorry, the, not the Earth's, the, uh, the moon surface. And I'm going to cut that first and then stick that on the bottom. I'll throw in some occasional trivia about the uh, the mission when we get through the video here every now and then. So I'm going to work on that part first. Next thing I'm going to do is add a few little craters and you know crevices to the moon surface just to make it look like it's a little more realistic. These are mostly just going to be reference points because you can't really go with that much detail with these tiny little, you know, slices. So they're just going to be really tiny and kind of just give a little bit of a reference to the lunar surface here. Uh, some trivia about Neil Armstrong. He was in the Boy Scouts and he did achieve scouting's greatest rank, which or highest rank, which is Eagle Scout. And he did take a Boy Scout patch with him to the moon as well. And back, of course. So now I'm going to work on the earth here. I'm going to cut it out of the, the electric blue because if I made it in dark blue, you probably wouldn't be able to see anything against the black background. And you'll notice it's just part of the moon because part of the of the uh, part of the Earth. I'm sorry, because the uh, part of it is actually covered in shadow. So we're gonna make that. And now I'm gonna cut out some of the clouds. It seemed to be an an extremely cloudy day when they took this picture on Earth. So it has a lot of clouds on the Earth's surface. And I'm gonna cut out a small continent later and stick that on. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut out two. And that's gonna be out of beige tape. Another great piece of trivia about the Apollo 11 mission was that all the astronauts actually had to go into quarantine after they returned from the moon. They actually had to be in quarantine for for 14 days, a, a period of two weeks, because they were afraid that the uh, they had contracted you know some sort of disease. They were just making sure that they didn't have like any bacteria or any you know disease from the moon, because at that point we didn't know if the moon had, had any bacteria or life forms on it. So they wanted to make sure. You know, better be safe than sorry, which is kind of cool because it really makes you realize how much we didn't know about the moon. You know, pictures and everything don't do it justice. We didn't know what was on the, the surface of it. So I'm going to cut out some of the clouds now. And I just add a few extra clouds just to make it look a little more kind of like rounded surface. And I'm going to cut out one of the continents and then I decided to do uh, two of them because one of them didn't seem to be enough. Obviously the continents are underneath the clouds, so I had to put that continent on first and then slowly apply the clouds on top of it. And I eventually did notice that there weren't enough, uh, there wasn't enough of a brown surface there, so I decided to cut out another continent. Kind of a spur of the moment decision. If you do have the opportunity, definitely Google, uh, you know, definitely go to Google Images and type in, you know, pictures of the Earth from the Moon, and you can check out this actual picture, which is really cool, and it just gives you a great perspective of what they were seeing, you know, from the the moon. So now I'm going to cut out that second continent and then stick it underneath one of the clouds. I have to peel it up and reapply it. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is work on a lyre and you're probably wondering what a lyre is. It's actually a stringed instrument kind of shaped like a U. It's very similar to a harp and it was carried by the Roman god Apollo who was the god of music, also the god of the sun. And uh, of course the Apollo, the Apollo missions Apollo 11 being the most famous one, is uh, the mission that Neil Armstrong was uh, in charge of. So I'm going to cut out the lyre there first. And those are the strings I'm cutting out now. And obviously it's in the gold color. Mm -hmm. There were 17 Apollo missions. And Neil Armstrong was on Apollo 11. So I'm just going to carefully going to just peel out all those. Alright, so just applying that to the side there. And then working on the and then we'll work on the cords first. I, I did do a little bit of correcting there because the uh, the stretch the string across wasn't exactly long enough. So I'm pretty sure there were seventeen Apollo missions. I know that you know there was eleven to seventeen. I'm not sure if there was one to eleven might have been under a different program, but I'll put it in, in an annotation just to make sure. Don't want to give you guys the wrong information. 
All right, so now I have the lighter done. Now I'm going to work on, this is actually part of the logo, part of the insignia for the Apollo 11 mission. It's uh, just, you know, every mission that, you know, when they go into space or they have like training, they always have an insignia made for that mission. And this is part of that, uh, that insignia. It has a picture of the, you know, the American Eagle holding an olive branch, which was supposed to represent a peaceful landing on the moon. So I'm going to work on that olive branch first. And then I'm eventually going to cut out the entire eagle here. And you can view the entire insignia on Google Images. You know, if you just type in Apollo 11 insignia, it'll come right up and you'll be able to see the entire thing. This is just one piece of it. It's pretty much the major part of it. So just cutting out the outline of the eagle now. And the feet or the talons are actually a different color. Those are more the beige color, so I'm going to have to cut out a separate you know, a whole uh, piece for those. So peeling that up now, I can't exactly stick it on yet because the beige talons are going to go on top of that. So you can't really see what I'm doing now. I'm kind of just freehanding the talons from looking at the picture right there. And now you can barely see them. I'm going to stick those on top of the olive branch. And then I'm going to stick the whole body of the eagle on. Now, let's see, I'm going to work on the head next. And I'm actually going to wait till the end to do the tail feathers. So there's the head. Got to know exactly where to stick it so I use the, uh, the paper image again. Now I'm going to work on the beak. I'm going to freehand those. First one didn't turn out too well so I actually had to do the, that uh, first one again. And then you'll be able to see when I peel it up here. And the second one. There we go. And now we're going. I'm going to work on the kind of the, the really long feathers on the eagle's wings. I kind of cut those out, as you can see on the paper image up towards the top right hand corner of the eagle image there. So I'm going to work on those now and apply them separately because it just would have been a lot harder to peel up the entire image with all those tiny little pieces, you know, just being torn and ripped and everything. It was a lot faster to do it this way. So those are the images on the uh, the right part of the wing, or I guess the eagle's. Yeah, the, it would be the eagle's left wing the right side of the image. So applying those and then I really quickly cut out the uh, the tail feathers because I was running out of uh, time on my camera here. Really close for the battery dying. And this is going to be the end of the time lapse. So this is a tribute to Neil Armstrong and his Apollo 11 mission. Hopefully you guys liked the video and I'll catch you guys next time.